So this video should have gone out a few days ago and it was intended to be a look, a first look at the Presonus Quantum 4848 that they sent over a little while back. I went down to finish a first look video on this the other day and found water all over the floor. It took most of the day to get all that sorted, but everything was up off the floor on shelving. Nothing got damaged, nothing got wet. Uh, that was important. A couple of pieces of cardboard and a floor mat, uh, like a rug were the only things that had to go so no problem there but after that i moved right into prepping for leaving for the nam show that was over the weekend and it's now tuesday and i'm here in california so i wanted to make up one more cable for the electrosonics pdr recorders i'm actually recording to one right now that i use at these trade shows and i made up a line level one the other day in a video which you can check out i'll link that and i wanted to make a mic level one as well you have to wire these differently for mic or line level and we can see over here in the manual the different input pins and what they do and we'll go over that again real quick just so you know the difference between the mic and line level for the mic level uh, pin one again is the shield or ground for mic and line level sources pin two we're not using because that's a biased voltage source and we don't need that for a dynamic microphone pin three is the microphone input on uh, these units so pin three is what we're going to tie pin two on our normal xlr to on the ta5f over here and then pin four is the selector pin for how much much voltage you want to be output on that bias voltage and we want zero so in order to do that you tie pin four on the ta5 over to pin one and that gets you zero voltage on the bias output so it's pretty simple and i made one up i had a like a three foot maybe uh, Mogami cable here that was already wired up and I just took the male end off, swapped that out to a TA5F and now I can plug something like this RE50B from EV in, which is a pretty standard industry standard interview mic and I can plug this into a PDR recorder and wear it and it's a nice short cable. I can reach and talk to people and I don't have to have a whole bunch of other stuff. Last year I did this with a Zoom H6 and man it was a lot of stuff to carry. So this year I've got this. I don't plan on using this. Pretty much everybody that I talk to at these kind of shows, they're audio people so they don't mind putting a lav on. It takes two seconds turn those on and off we go but there's always a situation that pops up where there might be uh somebody's just moving too fast or you only have a second with them and you want to pull a microphone out and get something from them uh without having to stop them and put a lab on so i just want to be prepared for everything so i made that pdr uh, mic level input cable to go along with the line level version I made the other day, which is a lot shorter because the idea behind this is I'd be plugging it into a PDR and maybe like a press mult or a mixer in a demo in a booth. So it doesn't need to be long at all. So that's just a little one foot uh, installation grade cable. And this is an actual mic cable. I haven't run into too many situations where these are necessary, but I will have them from now on in my kit, in my bag on the show floor with me just in case that comes up. So that's how the weekend went leading up to getting ready for the NAMM show. Obviously in there I've had to pack and do a whole bunch of other stuff as well. So uh, unfortunately this video just didn't get out and we will revisit the Quantum 4848 for a real video once I get back. Going to meet up with the PreSonus folks here at the show and talk to them and find out if there's anything else about the 4848 I should know and should show you and demo and test directly from them. So I'll get a chance to chat with them in the next few days and that'll be fun and then go back to the 4848 really dig into it. Uh, again, I only really got into it far enough for a first look. It was not going to be a review or anything yet because it is a pretty complex uh, interface and I want to give it a good shot. I've been using PreSonus Studio One 4 for a while now, editing podcasts and a bunch of other stuff in there just to try it out for them and it's been great. So uh, we'll see how those work together. I'll also see how it works with some other uh, DAWs like Reaper and maybe even Logic and see what else we can uh, put it through. And if you have any questions about it, give me a shout because it's a unique piece of gear. It's not gonna be something everybody's in the market for. Like I said, it doesn't have any mic inputs, but anybody that has a studio already or a home studio, that has gear, analog gear especially, if you have an analog console or a whole bunch of outboard gear, uh, this is supposed to be a really cool way to get all that connected at once. Uh, I've thought about putting it through a patch bay just so I can really uh, 
work with it faster, but I'm gonna see how it works right off the bat just as it is once I get back and we will get into it. This year I'm not gonna do any videos while I'm here because I'm only here Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. I fly out Saturday morning, so I don't have as much time here at the actual show as I did last year to make videos uh, while I'm here. So I'm gonna try to get as much as I can, see as much as I can, talk to as many people as possible and get the heck out of here to go back and make some videos for you. So let me know if you have any questions, follow along on social media. I'm doing uh, much more in the way of like real time updates on their Instagram, Facebook stories, especially. It's really easy for me to do kind of up to the minute stuff there. So keep an eye on that and I'll have more for you on the Quantum 4848 and from Nam very soon. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.